What's going on folks? My name is Joe aka J to the OE. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's been an interesting year as far as game pickups go. I'm trying to be at a low buy and so I'm only buying games that have been really good deals or um, that games that I've been really looking for and I still try not to pay too up for it if you know what I mean. Before we get started, please hit that like and subscribe button. So, I mostly collect Switch games, but I do still have quite a list of other games to get for um, other systems. I, I have it right here in my, uh, in my notes app, just the different systems. I don't know if it's focused, but yeah, different systems that I want, different things that um, I'm looking out for if I see them in a good deal. So we're going to start with those other systems, and it's really just one game for, an X, for Xbox one game for PS5 and one game for PS3. So for the PS3 is Metal Gear Solid 4. I've been looking for this. I have the uh, Metal Gear Solid collection in Switch. And so I have one, two, and three. And now I wanted four. I have five on Xbox. And four is only on PS3 for some reason. So I got this for a pretty cheap buy. I think I paid like two or three bucks for it as a part of a PS3 lot. And... You know, it's very clean, it's complete, and yeah, I really only want to collect complete um, things, especially for the modern, more modern systems. And so, Metal Gear Solid 4 um, is, is, is great. I, ha I haven't played any Metal Gear past 1, and so right now I'm finally um, playing through Metal Gear Solid 2. I'm in the middle of that. I'm, I'm going to play Metal Gear Solid 3 and then Metal Gear Solid 4. What I heard about this game was that it had like hour-long cutscenes. And so I'm looking forward and not looking forward to that at the same time. But Metal Gear Solid 4. Correction, I said I haven't played any Metal Gears past 1. That's not true. I also played uh, Metal Gear 5, which was really great too. And so now I'm, get, now I'm playing all this stuff in between. The next game I got for the PS5 is Kenna, Bridge of the Spirits. I got this for the PS4 a long time ago, but I never ended up opening it. And then when the PS5 came out and then the Kenna version of the PS5 came out, I figured I'll just wait. And when I found this at a good price, I'll trade the P I'll, um, sell the PS4 version so that I could just kind of get this for free. And so I haven't started this yet, but I'm really excited. I installed it on my PS5 and I'm really uh, good to go. So whenever I find time, I'm, this is my next PS5 game that I'm gonna play. The next one is an Xbox One game. I really wanted it for the Switch, but I can't find it. So I'll take this for now uh, as Attack on Titan 2 Final Battle. I, I'm a big Attack on Titan fan and this goes through the first three seasons. I only did, I've only watched the first season, and so now I'm going through the second and third season. But yeah, this is cool because you kind of play an unnamed character, and so you're you're with all the main characters together, and you're seeing them do their thing, and so you're a part of all those other battles as well. And yeah, since I can't get it on a Switch because it's crazy expensive on the Switch, and I got this for another in a pickup lot, um, essentially for five bucks, and so... Yeah, I kept this and I'm playing through this right now just up until the end of the first season and then when I finish watching the second season I'll start to play this again and so yeah so those are my three non switch games it's been a really good month for switch games I got a few grail items that I've been looking for 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 at least two years and um, and a few really good ones but I think that it's gonna be good for me and Juan my son uh, to play um, so we're gonna go in order of, I guess, expensiveness. First game we picked up this last two months is uh, Crash Bandicoot 4. A uh, great platformer. I'm really excited. I never got into like the first three crashes growing up because I didn't really have a PlayStation 1. Um, but I heard this was really good and my son really likes all the colors. And so this is fun. The next game is Sonic Superstars. Uh, I love Sonic, Sega Genesis. Uh, someone, when we first got into this country, um, someone bought us a Sega Genesis and I played the crap out of the first Sonic because we didn't have money to buy any game and it came packed in with the Sonic and so Sonic has a, that 2D Sonic has a special place in my heart and when Sonic Superstars came out I've been wanting to get it at a good price and I finally found it at one of these sales and so I got Sonic Superstars. 
The other game, the other game that we got is uh, Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. I love the Ace Attorney games, and this was kind of my first pickup of the month of January when it first came out. And so um, this is really fun. I think I yeah I played through the first Apollo Justice instantly. Uh, I love the mystery. It's a lot of reading, but it's really fun. I like the lawyer gameplay. I like um, just mystery games and finding out like who the culprit is. And sometimes it is obvious. Like it's never. It's, ob it's obviously never the person who they first accuse, um, but, you know, it's fun anyways, just kind of putting all the pieces together and all of that. Um, Celeste, I finally got on a physical. This is the cheaper version. Um, I have it sealed because I already have it digital. Um, and But, yeah, this is one of my favorite indie games. It's super hard, and um, I'm actually coming up with a top 10 indie game for the Switch, but this is definitely inside one of them. Uh, this is a platformer. A side scrolling platformer and but what I really like about this is the story behind it uh, it's kind of the uh, the mental health battle that she's that Celeste is going through and you kind of you going through the story of climbing up the mountain and finally realizing kind of the greatest enemy is yourself and trying to overcome that it's really deep really deep for, especially for a video game but I, I really enjoy the story the only way I beat it was through the easy mode but you know Ah uh, well, um, but I still enjoyed the story, and I was really happy uh, to be able to find uh, a cheaper version uh, on physical as well. Uh, the next one I, I really enjoyed on digital again, um, and so I wanted to get it on physical is Gris. It's another um, side-scrolling platformer, and I paid up a little bit on this, but it was a really nice copy, and I just wanted it, and <clears throat> yeah. Gris is beautiful, it's hand-drawn, it's, it's Devolver, um, another one of my favorite indie games on it. And I, I really like the concept of showing, not telling. And this shows you the story rather than tells you what's going on. And I really think that's a beautiful part of Gris and a beautiful part of the story in this. Another one, man, I found on retail on eBay there is this guy selling this on eBay kind of sticking it to uh, the resellers and I finally found one uh, for 30 bucks which is great was Castle Crashers <clears throat> Castle Crashers was an old Xbox Live arcade game um, that you know kind of got lost in time and then the switch finally came out with it and then Behemoth the publishers um, came out with like a limited run of of copies and they're slowly and s slowly churning them out as they go but um, this but right now this is going for like a hundred two hundred dollars on eBay and somebody on eBay was selling them for 30 and yeah it, it, it sells out in like 10 minutes but I was lucky enough to get that notification and then find one uh, this is a multiplayer game up to four players and this is really fun it's a fun couch co-op the animation is kind of quirky it's kind of fun and um, yeah, I was really happy to kind of be a little bit nostalgic. And also the online on this thing is really great too. So um, find me online if you guys want to play. This is my last pickup of uh, the, the year so far, January and February. And this one I've been looking for um, for years. Ever since I started collecting in 2019, I decided I wanted to find this physical. I refused to buy it digitally because I'm like, man, I just, I just want to want to I want to get it on physical for some reason, and that's West of Loathing. West of Loathing is is a stick figure um, turn based RPG. It's kind of a western, uh, like Red Dead Redemption, and it's quirky. It's self aware, kind of like Deadpool. It's the Deadpool of video games, so to speak. And man, it's it's just really fun. It is a lot of reading because it's an indie game, and so there's no voice acting. Uh, but what's cool is that there's a uh, sequel that, that coming out in a few weeks in March um, called Shadows Over Loathing. But West of Loathing, I was really, really happy to get way under the price that it that I've seen it in. And so West of Loathing is my kind of um, grail item that I've been able to finally find after all these years to, to, at a price that I can live with. Because online, on, on eShop, this thing costs like... 10 bucks, 11 bucks, and so I, I really had to wait until I was happy with the price on it, uh, on myself. And the last thing that I picked up this month, 
um, as well. I know I said it was last before, but this is really the last because this is kind of it's a video game ish. Um, it's the Joker amiibo. I, I, I really like Amiibos. Uh, maybe I'll do a collection video of Amiibo. I don't have like a ton ton, but I, I've acquired plenty enough. At least I have more than 10. Um, but basically, if I like the franchise, I, I was really into action figures. I was really into uh, toys uh, at the time, but they're all collectibles. And so it was funny because when I would invite friends with family and little kids, over to my house but it was filled with collectible action figures and then I they'd go wow that's amazing and I'm going like yeah I know so don't touch any of it it kind of made me feel weird and so um, I sold all of that and that started the video game collection but these amiibos kind of give my action figure fix as well as a little bit of a uh, helps me out in the video game a new skin or just a little bit of power-ups but yeah, I really, um, I was I was sad when the Joker Amiibo came out and then gone. And now they're doing these restocks of these famous, uh, more uh, more uh, sought-after Amiibos. And I'm really happy that GameStop had this for retail. And so I bought it. And yeah, Joker Amiibo is the last pickup of the month. So these are the games that I've picked up in the past two months. What are some games that you've picked up uh, that you've been really excited about? that you've been uh, collecting. I only really want to collect games that I ever want to play or I'm interested in playing. And then if I play and I figure out I don't like it, it just goes to eBay to continue to fund the game collection. But So I'm trying to keep at a low buy this year or these coming months, but there's just so many games that I want. And um, if I get them at a good price, if I get them way under what they're supposed to be, then I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go get them. But this, uh, these are my pickups for the month. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, I will see you later. I'll see you another time.